Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgenius at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is a Victor 5 phonograph cabinet and some of the little nuances about them. If you're going to take them apart and refinish them, you need to get the corner columns off right here. And you need to mark where each corner column goes because these corner columns are originally screwed in with three screws. And you can see right here the screw hole. And the base piece has another screw hole. And the top piece will have a screw hole. But I want to point out that when Victor built these, they screw right through this corner right here where the tongue and groove is. And what that causes is, it causes the tongue and groove to come apart. Over time, it comes apart like that. And I had to glue all this back together. And because this is an about a 19, early 1900 Vic 5, this is kind of like your grandma with a locker. Okay. The cabinet warps, the wood changes, everything changes. So when you put the corner columns back in, like this, you want to have them a little loose. Like that, just a little pinch. And I will show you here. You see the light part and the light part, and then we see the dark. Well, the dark part's the low area, and the light part is where I've taken it on 320 sandpaper and sanded it down. And I had to do it to all of them to make them fit properly. So, what I do is I don't screw them back together because I don't want everything just to pull and crank back down again. I want to keep the cabinet where it is now. And I use Elmer's white glue because it, it's very easy. And I only use a wee dab in the middle. And this will hold it in because I've re it. And you use less on the centerpiece because that's thinner from a very small dab. Push them in the spot. And you hear the squeaking as I'm putting it together. Now it's together. The other problem with the other thing, I shouldn't say problems, but after a hundred years, this latch, which is this latch here, and you go like that, and it hooks into this brass piece. Well, because this thing is a little warped, this is not catching. So I I'll pull this off and then you will file right here on the flat piece. This flat piece right here, you see it come over the wood right there. You see how close this is now after I've assembled it? It has no clearance for the little brass lock because this piece pops up in here and then it hits it. So you'll take this off and you'll file that edge down a little bit reassemble and go back and forth back and forth till you get it to lock and I would set it up a little bit loose these are just little things I wanted to point out to you one other thing about these these two holes right here on the cabinet those two holes take off the back bracket of the motor so you can service the motor on your Victor 5 or 4 or 3 and you don't have to remove it. Oh, I have a spring problem. Oh, 
I can undo these two screws and the whole barrel assembly will come off the machine. You don't have to take it off. It's really impressive. I love this. This is a lot of fun and that's my tip for